Hello there. In this current series of shortcut keys, my focus will be more on formatting tricks with respect to shortcut keys. Now, I'm not going to uh, burden with you loads and loads of shortcut key. In fact, very selective, but the ones which I'll be using along with you are the ones which you must remember and start using. And you'll soon find out why. Well, in this case, uh, often it happens that you right click and go to format cells. Correct. Now, instead of doing that, you as well might as well use control digit one control and one will prompt you with this format cells dialog box, which otherwise you would have got uh, by clicking on format cells separately. Now, just a word of caution while using this shortcut key, uh, use the digit one from this series of digits on your keyboard, not the one which are present on the num keypad. If you press control and digit one from this num keypad, it will not work. Next. If you are working with a date and you wish to get today's date on a single cell, you click on a cell and then press control semicolon. It quickly gives today's date, which in this case happens to be 2nd of February 2014. Let me press enter and there you go. You have today's date. Not only that, this is a format you may approve of a format which says to FEB 2014. In which case, if you keep the cell selected and press control shift digit three, control shift and three, it quickly changes that in what format? DD, MMM, YY format. So a combination of these two shortcut keys I use quite often to give a date, today's date, and then uh, making sure the format is the one which I desire, which looks good on the printout. Next, uh, if you are working with the series of numbers, let's say I'm putting some numbers, there you go, and you wish to apply comma style, which we do using this million separator. So what you might as well do in as an alternative is press Alt key, press the H key from the keyboard so as to activate the home tab. And once you do that, notice that letter K is the one which is indicated by the comma style. So I press K and there you go. All the numbers in million separator. Not only that, if you wish to reduce the decimals, then do what? Alt letter H then notice the digit nine is the one which is indicating decreased decimals. So I press nine. So Alt H nine once again, and it shows me whole number with no decimals. So there you go. This is the same shortcut key, which I was speaking about in the, in one of the initial videos where I explained you the benefits of using Alt and then following the key tips. Apart from this, a couple of miscellaneous shortcut keys are, if you press control F two, it quickly gives you the print preview. And a lot of us while working with Excel before taking a printout would like to use this shortcut key. Control F1, if I press Control F1, it quickly hides the ribbon. If I press Control F1 again, it quickly brings it back. Apart from using shortcut key, you can also double click on any tab. It hides the ribbon and double click again. It brings back the ribbon. So this is if you want to increase your working area and want to see more numbers without getting interfered while the ribbon is still on. Finally, let me talk about a shortcut key which I have been using a lot in data cleaning and formatting all semicolon. Now, what does it do? Let me go to sample data where I will show you the benefits of this shortcut key. Let's assume Jan till June, you have a very simple list of months. I'm going to hide two particular rows. So I say hide and I choose the entire block. I just want to color those cells which are visible to me right now. So what do I do? I select the cells, I go to home and then I pick up the color. Well, if I now unhide the rows which I had hidden, notice the cells which were hidden also got colored. So what are the alternatives before me? Well, I'll bring back the data. I will hide it again. Then let me choose the entire block and I will press the shortcut key which is mentioned on top. This is called Alt semicolon. The benefit is it only chooses cells which are currently visible. And then if you apply the color yellow, as I unhide the remaining rows back, notice the color doesn't get applied to the cells which were hidden. So all semicolon for choosing visible cells. Practice all this and trust me, as you work with Excel more and more, these shortcut keys are going to save a 